Hey guys, this is Nate again. Uh, I just kind of roll in these videos. So, the pre med screening. Um, before you go to MEPS, with your recruiter, you fill out that sheet that says one, have you ever had? One, asthma. Two, an inhaler. Three, 3D, 3F, 4D, 4F, 4G, 12D, all that junk. Yeah. So all that on where you sign yes, no, and then on the back when you flip over there's a big blank spot and it says uh comments or whatever and you write like twelve D seventeen years old, had knee surgery or whatever. I had it when I was fifteen. No, sixteen, I'm sorry. Sixteen. Age sixteen, doctor who did it, where it was done, all that. You guys remember that from before you went to MEPS. So that comes into play in your medical and your pre med. So, you bring that up, because they copy it. You bring it up, give it to the guy there, he'll have you say, scan your finger, sir. Scan your finger. Hello, Mr. So-and-so. Take a seat on that side of the classroom. So I took a seat on that side of the classroom. They give you a, uh, they call it a scantron. It's like an ACT test. It has a little circle, you circle in. We've all seen before. Yeah, it's basically have you drank, have you drink, have you taken a drink of alcohol in the past six months, in the past two weeks, in the past year, in the past ten years, in the past five years? No, it's like months, years, whatever. So you say no, no, yes, yes, I have. How many of you had? Blah blah blah. All that. Your name, the date. The date's a little weird. It's like twenty thirteen oh two nineteen was mine. It's like year, month, day. Just a little different. With no dashes or slashes, or spaces or periods. So, that's pre-med, and you fill out another one of those things like you did before you went. Just, here's the thing, your recruiter said go back three years probably, or seven years, three to seven years. Um, when you go to MEPS, be completely honest, because they're gonna, they want all the way from birth, all the stuff that you can remember, major surgeries. If you went to a hospital, list it, because what they can do is you automatically go to the FBI and they can look at your history and even if you don't mention that you had heart transplant when you were five it's gonna show up because you went to the hospital or because you got a prescription and that's assigned to your name obviously you have your social and your parents stay down their insurance so they can look at your parents insurance which obviously do so they're gonna look at your parents insurance and they're gonna figure it out anyways so just be honest because if you don't, you're going to have to redo the whole thing, and it's a pain in the butt. And it's just not good. So, be completely honest. Um, that's pretty much pre-med scan- pre-med- I keep calling it pre-med scanning. Pre-med screening. That's about it. It's just, be honest, and just tell them what happened to you. And write it, and then they'll put it in your little folder. You'll get it. You carry this folder around all day, so you're going to have this folder with you all day so yeah the folder then you walk out and take the breathalyzer take a deep breath <sighs> exhale dee 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 take your little tube you blew a 0, 0.00 congratulations you're not drunk put it in trash can and then I went to ASVAB which I'll be making a video on in a second